All right, guys, now that you've had time to get your wiring harness set up, we're gonna keep this here though. You're gonna need this, okay? But what we wanna do now is let's just kind of get familiar with how this is gonna sit on our frame here. And let's look at some of the options we have. The first thing we know is that what you may think, and people make this mistake often when you see XT60 connections here, is that this would be going to the back. Well, let's just take your flight controller and turn it over. This is actually how it's gonna sit, is this part with the USB is gonna be up, okay? This part with the, um, with the uh, VTX plate here is gonna be down. The other thing is, I want you to look at this arrow that's right here. The arrow is pointing where the front should be, which means this is actually going to sit like this, okay? So if you were to leave your frame facing, this is the back of your drone, this is the front, the left side of your frame is actually gonna have the XT60 plugs here. You're not gonna use these, by the way, okay? So the antenna will be here, your arrow will be up here, which, and then this, these wires right here, these are your camera wires, okay? So they're actually gonna be facing forward. I'm just gonna wind these up a little bit more. These are your receiver wires. And then these are your buzzer wires, and these are gonna be facing to the back. This is how it'll sit. So let's prepare this. I'm gonna turn it a little bit so it's easier for me. So you have this bag right here, right? This has your standoffs and everything else in it. So we wanna go ahead and see, you can just dump those out real quickly. You also have these rubber rings right here, okay? Four, four of them, right? So what we're gonna do is we're going to take uh, these uh, standoffs here, these nylon standoffs, and we're going to screw them down to the ESC. This is this is going to be what puts the ESC, holds it in place. So just get them and screw them, screw all four of them down. Okay. All right. Ah, wait, 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 wait. But let me correct something first. Sorry. Um, oops. I meant to tell you, put the O-rings on first. Okay. So get that O-ring on there those white O-rings that we sent you, get those on there. Now, put the fastener on there. Sorry, I meant to tell you that. Now, I've got a little uh, screwdriver here, a little something or other, whatever it will. I'm gonna use, I can find it, most likely cannot find it, so never mind. Actually, I'll use this one, here we go. So just use that, or whatever you have to tighten it down. Okay, put that in place. And you can also, then from this side, just Kind of tighten the screw there and there you go okay there's one the next one here there you go okay the third one here and you can pull your motor wires out of the way when you do that we have some slack in there, so that shouldn't be a problem. There we go, just like that. And then the fourth one will go right here. Okay. And then you will put the last nylon standoff there. Okay. Make sure you have that done properly. And that's it. Perfect. Okay. Now you can bring your motor wires back in, tuck them in however you want. They should not be moved again. Usually what I'll do is I'll take my screwdriver, just kind of press them in like this and this. Uh, okay, and sorry, I'm actually, I'm having this uh, update. These are the videos, by the way, that I'm working on for you guys. So um, they're compressing them right now. So you see, I think this is right. And tell it to start, there we go. Okay, so now that this is done, we're going to check measurements real quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to place this over that and you should have plenty of clearance there. And you can see there's a gap here now. We have plenty of clearance. This is perfect. Okay. So now that that's done, once that's on there and when we're done, we will actually end up putting these nylon fasteners on and that is what will hold it down. Now, one thing you will not be using is these nylon screws. I don't even know. Just put those in the plastic case there, throw them in this uh, bucko goods or bucket of goods, and there, we are set. This is how your setup should look. Turn it this way, you have your rubber O-rings on the bottom uh, uh, before you put the fasteners on there, okay? Before you put the standoffs, I mean. So you have them on top of your ESC, and then you put it, and there's your spacers. You now have enough clearance space so that you don't short anything out, okay? 
And yeah, that looks good, man. That's gonna be really good, actually. All right, so with that said, let me make sure everything looks good. Let me make sure everything's tightened. Please make sure, that, yeah, verify that everything has been tightened down as best as it can, and it looks like it can. It looks like it has. Perfect. Okay, so from here, what we're gonna do now, keep your fasteners here, because you'll need those, okay? What we're gonna do now is, we're gonna start prepping the board, okay? So we wanna go over all the spaces here. You see these four pads at the top, four pads at the bottom, and then you're gonna see S2 on the, on the right, S1 on the bottom right, S3 on the bottom left, S4 on the top left. Make sure to get all of those, and I'll zoom in here to show you a little bit here, okay? So what we're looking at right now is S2, then these four pads, S4, these four pads, S1, and S3. So make sure you use your flux pen or whatever you're using for flux and get those covered. You don't need to touch anything else, okay? Perfect, once that's ready, let's zoom out and let's tin our board up properly. Okay, oh, let me turn on my solder line there. Okay, uh, and now we can also, while that's happening, we can also start thinking about where do we wanna put our buzzer, for example. So here's our buzzer. Uh, not really sure where I want to put this because I don't usually use one, but because we're on a cable here, because we have a wire to use, we could put this pretty much wherever we want, all right? So I'll look at this a little bit, and maybe while we're doing some of this, we'll get it ready, but it's not going to be the first thing we do anyway, so we've got time to think about it. Now, first thing we're going to do is uh, we are going to um, get our ESC wired to our flight controller, okay? So to do that, I have these wound up that do that, what I want to do is I want to separate first the uh, power and the ground. So you can untwist these now. I twisted mine up just to keep them straight uh, and not get them tangled with anything. So here's our power and our ground. That's our black and our red. Okay. And here are our four, four motor wires. All right. And if you remember, and I'll bring over that image again, if you remember this, seeing this, right? So this picture says that motor uh, one, let me see if I can split this up. Uh, let me do this here. There we go. This picture says that wire, motor one will be white, uh, motor two will be blue, motor three will be green, and motor four will be yellow. That's how we're gonna wire this, but I do not know if that's how it's gonna be. We won't really know for sure until we put it into beta flight, all right? But we're gonna wire it according to that diagram. So here's what we've got. All right, let me get back to our screen here. Okay, let's tin our board. So let's go ahead and get, now that we've put our flux on there, we can go ahead and tin it. And what we wanna do is we're gonna tin this pad here, okay? And if the, this board I think has a little bit of a coating on its pads, so be patient. It may just need to heat up a little bit to take. So we're gonna tin this one here, okay? And we're gonna tin this one here. That is your, the left one. This one is positive, this one is your ground, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and tin the pads here. So we have S2, which is right here, so just very carefully and turn this to however you, however you solder, it's comfortable. So I'm gonna do S2 here, right here, okay? There it is. I'm gonna do S1 over here. I gotta fit in here somehow. There it is. I'm gonna come around here and do S3. There it is, and I'm gonna do S4 right here. There it is, okay? Now, I can put this under the microscope if you'd like, show you what this looks like, so bear with me. I will do that for you here. So let me see if I can get this on. Microscope's kind of finicky today. There we go. So, and let me close this out. Okay, so here we go, and I'm just gonna bring this over. So if you look at S1, uh, let me get that under there. There's our S1, and there's that dot right there, it's tinned. Let's look at S3. There's our S3 dot. All right, let's look at S4, there it is, and let's look at that ground. That ground pad is tinned. And then let's look at uh, S2, and then let's look at the positive pad, it is tinned, okay? so. I'm gonna leave this under the microscope so we do the next part, all right? So bear with me a second. Um, let's do this like this. 
and I'm going to try to get this. Now, keep in mind, I've got to fit this whole drone on this thing, so bear with me as I do this. All right, there's our S1 pad. Now, our picture said, I'm going to go back to it here real quick, and you'll see that when I switch. Our picture says motor one is white, and motor one is S1. So what I want you to do is I want you to take the white cable. Okay, make sure it's nice and cleared from everything. You'll see me do this in just a second. All right, there's my S1 pad. So I'm gonna take the white cable with my tweezers. Let me get my soldering iron, and I'm gonna solder that down right there like that. All right, so bear with me a second. Let me do that. I don't like, I need to put my glasses on here. I can't see that very well. Let me put my Mr. Magoo glasses on. Okay, so I want to fix that a little bit because I don't like the way that looks. That I will, ex oops, where is it? This one. It's not as easy working under a microscope, but I'm going to do my best here. Okay, so let's lay this down kind of limits the amount of movement I have here. So sorry about that, guys, but just bear with me. Okay, there's our signal one, okay? And just let that wire kind of go here down the board. Now, I'm gonna go to my signal three, and the image said for signal three, all right, let me try to get that into the camera there. There's signal three barely fitting on the screen. Let me switch over. And so we had white, blue, green. Green is for signal three. So let's grab our, let me turn this here. Let's grab our green wire. Okay, and bring that over to signal three pad, just like this. Perfect, okay. Now, let's do signal four. Okay. And if you remember, which I don't because I am not, uh, signal four is gonna be yellow. So let's go back here. Let's take our yellow wire. And I know this wire is gonna be long because the, the jump is right here. But that's okay. Just take our yellow wire. There you go. And then we're gonna come over here and do signal two, which is gonna be the blue wire. We'll bring that down just a little bit. There you go. I cannot get this, let me move this because I have the microscope stand is in my way. All right, so we've got our signal two in place, okay? Now, the only things left for this are going to be the positive and the ground. So those are gonna go right here. Let me line that up so you can see it. Okay, so we're gonna do the positive first, which is that pad right there. So I'm gonna take the red wire, and I am going to, with the tweezers, I'm gonna trim that just a little bit. The red wire is a little long. Let me trim that up just a bit here. Okay, so I'm gonna take the red wire here, place it over this pad. There you go, perfect. Now I'll take the black wire. Place it over, let me move this out of the camera view, place it over here. Just like that. There we go, okay? Now we've got everything soldered together and let me show you what this is supposed to look like now, okay? There we go, all right. So if you look, all these wires, some of them are a little longer than they need to be, but that's okay. We're not gonna worry about that right now. We wanna just make sure that we don't cut the wire so short that if there's a mistake or something, you can't fix it because you've run out of wire. So this is what this should look like. And you can press these down, you can do whatever you want. They're not gonna be in your way. 
Um, but this, it's, it looks, this is the way it should look, okay? So right now, you have just wired your ESC to your flight controller. Now, I would tell you we could turn this on and test it, but we still have some cables here that are kind of live, so we're not gonna mess with that right now. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna stop here, check your connections, make sure everything's good, then we're gonna come back and we're gonna wire your camera, and we're gonna wire your receiver, and we're gonna wire the buzzer. And then we're going to test it, okay? So I'll be right back.